Okay, so I'd just like to say quickly before I start, uh, sorry that I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Uh, I have been doing stuff, uh, have just been spending some time just thinking about things and, uh, generally all that stuff. I haven't really had much to do stuff to do for tutorials and, uh, me making videos it kind of just wasn't working so I've kind of had a little break from YouTube for a while but I will be getting back into it uh, I am currently saving up for a better editing software and I hope to be showing you guys some cool stuff with that and uh, don't worry I'll still be doing series tutorials uh, but yeah I uh, have gotten a new microphone since my last video so hopefully the sounds a bit better there'll be no hiss in the background for you guys what listening to uh, me through headphones, uh, though I do have a bit of a cold, so I apologise for that. But now I'd like to just get it back onto the review, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, in a sec. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello, it is Cameron here from Quickshot Films, and today I want to do a full review on this software right here. This is Bandicam, uh, and yeah, I've used this for a while now. I use this for all my tutorials on this channel, uh, and yeah, it is just a nice software. Uh, it's meant for game recording, I think, but it works well for general screen capture anyway. I have used this for a while for game recording, but I have switched to Fraps as it is a little bit less laggy but this still gets the job done and does it well. So this uh, records audio, uh, video at HD quality and two audio sources it can handle. Uh, <coughs> you can pick this program up for around $39 I think uh, in USD. Uh, so yeah that is that. I don't know what that translates to New Zealand dollars as I am living in New Zealand but I bought this a while ago so I don't remember what I paid. Yeah, so I will be going through this uh, and I will show you how it holds up in recording gameplay and I will show you how it holds up recording me editing and all that stuff. Well, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, first of all I'd like to say it does cause a bit of mouse lag. Uh, like when I'm moving around my mouse and stuff you can probably tell maybe. it. Uh, I think I lose a few frames with my mouse moving around the screen, but I don't think that shows up in the recording. Uh, but yeah, when I'm recording with it, my mouse like blinks and disappears and stuff. But I think that is normal. Uh, yeah, I am not sure, but yeah, that's one one little issue. But uh, that 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 is all right. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so first of all, you've got this target button. Uh, basically, it just allows you to direct X open GL window, which basically what that means is uh, if you click that, it will record whatever window you've got open. So if you've got a game open, it will only record that. If windows are popping up over your game, it won't record those windows. It will just record the game part, the game screen, uh, which is quite handy. Uh, okay, so like if you're Skyping and you've got your Skype window like up here in the middle of your game screen for some ridiculous reason, uh, that won't show up in the recording, which is quite good uh, for when you're doing multiplayer recordings like I have in the past. Okay, uh, and this rectangle on screen, basically that means you can resize the window to be uh, whatever size you would like, just by dragging around a rectangle thing, which I can't show you right now because currently I am recording with Bandicam, so... I cannot demonstrate that, I don't think, but if I do that, maybe it'll keep recording. If it doesn't, I will just restart the recording when this happens. Uh, so if I go... Uh, rectangle on screen? No, I don't know. Uh, if I click that, okay, so this you probably can see the screen moving around, and when I drag it drag the corners I can change the size of the screen and I think this will work during recording so I think you guys will be able to see this right now can't you uh, so yeah that's basically what that is and that is pretty cool uh, yeah so I'll just size up this to full screen again and pull it up top okay so uh, this thing up here is also another thing this uh, shows up in your recordings but one thing you can do is click uh, opacity and pull that down to like 20% and then it's hardly visible and yeah that's right. 
Okay, <laughs> so now that we got that out of the way, uh, this general tab. Okay, this is where you choose where your output uh, of your videos goes. So by clicking this dot dot dot, you can choose where to save it. Uh, by clicking open, it will open that file location in the Windows Explorer that Windows has. Uh, this Bandicam window always on top is basically what it says. I mean, this window always stay on top of this thing, I think. Uh, or it might be that video, up, that thing up there. I am not sure. Um, but anyway, the advanced settings is just random stuff. You can play around with this stuff. Uh, this is just a review, not a complete tutorial. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, audio auto complete recording. Uh, that is. I am not sure actually. I I haven't played around with all these settings. I just use the basics. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that is the general tab. In the video tab, we have uh, some other cool features. Uh, so this record, when you click settings, it will basically open up the window where you can choose what sound devices you're recording with. As I said at the start of the video, I think you can have two sound devices being recorded simultaneously. So if I click this and click Windows 7 sound, it will record the sounds of my desktop, like all the bleeping and all the game sounds and stuff if I'm recording the game. That's basically what would Win, Win 7 would sound would be. Uh, yeah, and then it's got save audio tracks while recording stuff. Uh, logo, that's if you want to have your logo up on the screen. I generally just edit my logo in afterwards if I want that. I don't make the video program do that. And I suggest that as well, especially if you've got a program like Siri for Movie Plus where you can add things on top of your video. Uh, Windows Movie Maker cannot do that, but, uh, yeah. If you're using that, you probably won't be, uh damaged anyway by using just this. This works fine. Uh, anyway, options. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I have a bit of cold at the moment. Um, anyway, options is basically uh, the, like if you've got the mouse click effect turns on, which I'll talk about in a sec, uh, it will change the colours of that mouse click effect. And then uh, this is I have no idea what that does, but you know, <laughs> I just have it on anyway, so okay, um, I should probably look into that, uh, so these things here I didn't talk about before, I kind of skipped that, uh, basically this just lets you have a hotkey for recording and stopping the recording and stuff, uh, this tick box here, and you can choose what key you want to there, I think you have to type it, uh, yep, and then it's got the pause key, so whatever key you want to pause your video with. Uh, then it's got the help hide my mouse cursor, so if I tap that it'll probably hide my mouse cursor for you guys right now. If I unclick it you'll probably, probably be able to see it. Uh, and then this out and mouse click effects, it's just when I click it makes the colourful colourful effect thing. I keep that on for my tutorials, but uh, otherwise you can have that off. Like for when I'm recording games, I keep that off. Otherwise you see a little circle in the middle of my screen. Okay. So that's that recording side of it. Format, this is mostly audio and video settings. So uh, in the settings you can change your video size, frame rate, all that cool stuff. And then your audio, what sort of size you want it to be saved as. That just helps you uh, limit the size of your recordings and quality. Uh, so yeah, that's another cool feature that Bandicam has, it compresses your video while recording, which is something Fraps doesn't do, and that's partly what causes some more lag for Bandicam. Uh, a bit disappointing, but that's very helpful as Fraps takes up a lot of hard drive space. Uh, this, you get much smaller file sizes, which is one of the big advantages of Bandicam. When I used my laptop, it was not able to handle such big file sizes because it had a tiny hard drive. So. Uh, this was very, very good. Sorry for that cut. Uh, just got a little interrupted there. Uh, okay, so carrying on. I cannot exactly remember what I was up to, so I showed you the stuff. Okay. And presets, it is just like how. Just quick presets for what your video size. Okay, and the image tab. Uh, basically, uh, this is just all the settings for if you're taking a screenshot, which isn't the main focus of this program, but it is a good little side 
effect thing. Okay, and about, that is all your details and stuff. And I'm going to block this stuff out because this is private information that you guys can't have. So, yeah. Anyway, that uh, this button here takes you to the web page and all that stuff. So, overall, I would rate this program uh, out of all the... Uh, video capture softwares I have seen in the past I would rate this program probably an 8 out of 10 as it is not the greatest for frame rate but it is very good for file size very good for much other things with high quality uh, it is yeah it's really nice like that uh, also this the handy bar up here I'll just make it visible again visible 100% this is very handy and it's good on screen little command box so you can control your recordings like when I got interrupted just before I could just click the pause button and resume the recording straight afterwards with no problems so that is a good plus of this program so uh, now you, I've gone through all the details and stuff of the program I will show you a bit of the quality and uh, the yeah, uh, yeah, they're recording in game and stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is Bandicam recording in game. As you can see, I've got a bit of frame rate, but that is because I am playing. I think I'm playing on fancy. No, I'm not. Okay, uh, but I do have a few mods and stuff installed as well, so that could contribute to it. I am getting 47 frames, so that isn't bad. Uh, I think partly this is my graphics card as well, not being able to handle too much in time. Uh, I think something limits my frame rate at some times uh, so I don't know what that is but uh, as you can see I'm getting 60 frames right now while recording with Bandicam uh, so that's pretty cool as you can see I've got a few mods on uh, yeah the, the Minecraft by the way <laughs> just letting you guys know I don't think I explained that uh, but yes pretty good quality I'll put it on daytime so you guys can see what it looks like in that and so there we go daytime uh, as you can see I have a 64 by 64 text pack on and you can get all the detail out of that using OptiFine as well to zoom in uh, but yeah so that is it in Minecraft uh, now I'll show you while I am editing a video and just see how much of the details you can see in the buttons and stuff uh, when I'm doing that so yeah I'll be right back Okay, so this is inside Siri Movie Plus, my video editor, just to show you how it looks like in uh, a pro general program. Uh, the buttons are looking pretty good, you can read stuff most of the time. Uh, this will be in 1080 on YouTube, so if you're watching it, that, it should be fine. Uh, full screen if you cannot see the buttons. But of course you can zoom in by dragging the window smaller and looking at stuff like that. If you're wanting to show off more closer to the buttons for your viewers. But basically, uh, that is that. Uh, definitely recommend this video to you guys who are wanting to record gameplays and tutorials and stuff. It is much better than most programs like Hypecam and things. Even for the free version, you get 10 minutes of recording and all you get is that little Bandicam thing up top here. And even with that, you can uh, record much better tutorials and stuff than Hypecam. I start out with just that. And I covered up that banner in a couple of my early tutorials by putting uh, a Quickshot Films banner thing up there. Uh, but yeah, this that's uh, basically it. Uh, link in the description to where you can download this. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Just wanted to do something different. And yeah, so I will see you guys later. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And yeah, goodbye now.